Hey, planner people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm bringing you all my third quarter flip. We late. We about to be on the fourth quarter flip. But nonetheless, we here and I'm excited to show you how it's been going. So, uh, this is my July monthly and I think it's so beautiful. This was a kit from Alyssa Craft Shop and I just really loved the colors. I thought it was so fresh, so bright, and just so cute. So it did have silver foiling. So I got to pull in some silver foiling and it just looks really good. So the special things about July is it's my baby's birthday, my oldest, and it's also my mom's birthday. So we got to be, we got to celebrate birthdays this month and it was really good. So right here, was my baby's first IG live. So I let her fill out her week, which y'all will see in a little bit, but I let her fill out her week in my planner. It took a lot out of me, y'all, it did. But I love how that week turned out. So that was her first live. And I think I, you know, just displayed it really cute with a cute bubble bear cloud. Her name's Claudia, and I used a scalloped box from Miss Emmy Al. Possibly, who knows? But yeah, I thought it was really cute. And then I thought it was really cute how I celebrated 4th of July, which I don't celebrate 4th of July, I celebrate fireworks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I pulled in a cute little um, firework full box overlay. I just cut it down to fit in the box and I just thought it was really cute. So that was really nice to use up some deco there. I just, I just really like how it looks. So I did put this on the wrong month. So we're going to go ahead and flip back to July. So here is my first week of July and I use full boxes from Rose Shadow Collection and Harriet Wright Designs. That's all this kit was about or this spread was about was a mashup and I just pulled in full boxes. Nothing else was, in, <laughs> nothing else. I didn't have anything else basically. I didn't have bottom washi boxes, anything like that. I just had the full boxes and I thought it was gonna be good. So for the month of June this year, I did, Um, what did I do? I'm <laughs> sorry. For the month of June, I had did like black um, artwork. So this was the end of June. So I had to finish it out and I just thought it came out really pretty. I pulled in a gold mine and cocoa doll. She's so cute. I pulled in some Alyssa Craft Shop Deco. I had got like a grab bag, I believe. And I pulled in some of that Deco, which I really like it. And I also ended up finding out that I don't like transparent deco um i know it's a thing for like my hobo cousin lovers and things like that but i love the deco on white premium matte paper just because i feel like it pops a little more just for what i'm using it for so i do like it on the white background anywho i really love how this turned out i thought it was very pretty and just amazing. Oh, I also pulled in like some florals from Let's Plan It. She has a really nice, um, what do you call it? She has like a deco sheet, journaling sheet, and it's really, really nice. And so I pulled in a lot of her little florals to go with it. Just really good. It's just really good. I love it a lot. So that's just really all that this spread was about. I was really proud of it. Like I said, it was just full boxes, nothing else. I thought it really looks like it was a kit. So I, I really enjoyed that. So then for the first full week of July, it was my baby's birthday week. Her birthday is July 8th. So I let her lay out her layout for my week. And she put all the full boxes on one side and I just was losing my mind on the inside. And I kept telling her during her live, I was like, baby, like I need something on this side. Like, please like leave this alone. She had a vision. I need tattoos. Hmm? I need tattoos. Crackers? I'll get it in a minute, not right now, okay? 
Okay, so I, I'm back. So I, so she put all her boxes on this side and I was like, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna make this work? So I decided to pull out the hobo cousin trend <laughs> and do a journaling spread. That's how I pictured this. After baby did what she did, I was like, okay, we're just gonna do a journaling spread with this. That's it. So I pulled out my little, um, what I have, like I have a whack <laughs> printer, like photo printer is so whack y'all. And I don't know why it's whack because it's Kodak. Like it, to me, I would think that Kodak would have a good printer. I hate that printer. Anyway, so I pulled that out so that I could pull in some pictures for her week, celebrated her day. We got to go get some ice cream. And so I got some pictures of her eating her ice cream. Her daddy came back, it's a little glare there. But her daddy came back in town for this week because he was on the road. And so we got a picture of him there. We hung out with my niece and my sister at Candytopia. So we got some pictures there. I love it. It's so good. I was really happy about it, how it turned out. And it doesn't make me, I don't look at it and think, what the hell's going on? I look at it and I'm like, my baby did that. <laughs> So I really just love how this turned out and like <laughs> it's a good memory just because like I see like her upside down date covers and her cricket you know boxes and I just I just love it all right so I got to use this kit from the giving girl I believe I got it in a grab bag now I believe I know I did because I live for the grab bag so this was such a a pretty spread okay i love how this turned out it looks so freaking good i love this okay look at these seashells at the top of my page girl you did that so i love how i put my seashells at the top the font of the date covers looks amazing i it's so good it's so good look at these little seashell dividers I alternated them. I love it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my God, I love it so much. I do. So this was the week after my baby's birthday. I don't think we did anything too extravagant. Ooh, I had Juicy Crab. I bet you they went to school that day because I be sneaking for the Juicy Crab, y'all, because Boo loves Juicy Crab. And I'm like, it's too expensive to be trying to feed two people. Anyway. So yeah, it was a really cute spread. I really love how it looks. I ain't mad at it at all. Oh, so pretty. All right, so then this week was the week of a collab with my friend T at Plenty of Planning. We used a House of Stickers kit and it's really, it's really pretty. I was happy to finally use some hollow. I'm gonna count how many hollow spreads I got this year, y'all, because I feel like I have like three. But I really like how I did it. I like how I did the, my sidebar. Um, I need to do that more often with this washi like this, filling up some space. That's really cute. Oh my gosh. So I, I was so happy that Sadie Stickers brought back this little uh, wave with the sun and the palm tree, y'all. I think I saw Shantae Plans use this in one of her spreads and I went running over there to Sadie's and of course at that time I missed it. <laughs> so she ended up asking like what to bring back, love her bring back $2 Tuesdays and I requested that because I needed that in my life. So I was able to get some of these, love them so much. But anyway, pulled that in just to decorate it up a little bit, love that. I actually like that for the date covers. Like it's real simple, but cute. Yeah, y'all know me, I like the simple look. Oh, I love these headers from the kit. That's really cute too. This was a really cute spread. I like it a lot. Can't really complain there. Uh, did anything special happen? <laughs> oh, I went to the Kanye West listening party. I had no concert stickers, y'all. One thing that I do shop for now is like random stickers, just like Something that you don't do every day because I'm always going and buying the Happy Mail stickers, the laundry stickers. You have so many of those. 
But then when it's time to go to the park, when it's time to go to a concert, the zoo, it's like, where's that sticker at? So I started investing in just more so random stickers so that I can be prepared because I was very sad that I didn't have a concert sticker that day. Anyway, so yeah, I went to the Kanye West listening party. I um, did the live with T for this kit, so that was cute. What else? I think that's about it, nothing much. Yeah, nothing much going on there, so cute, oof. All right, so now we should be getting into my August monthly, but we gotta flip backwards because your girl be acting up. So here's my August monthly, oh my gosh. Did y'all see that, hold on. Ooh, <laughs> girl, that was so, that's so good. This is such a good monthly. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. Okay, so I pulled in Deco from Ice Cream Joe and um, Boo, Rose and Tea Shop. Did I use Rose and Tea Shop? Like, they had like little, yeah, I, I, it was either Rose and Tea Shop's sampler that I got but it was Ice Cream Joe's artwork I don't remember because I, I pulled them all together but I used what I used okay anyway this is so beautiful so good so the reason why I chose this as the monthly theme is because it was Bay's birthday month and he likes the outer space stuff he go up for that so I wanted to pull that in and I love this so much it's so pretty Oh, it's so pretty. It looks so good. I just, I love the astronauts. Like, it's so good. Look at her right there. Like, I feel like I just really did a good job. Like, oh my gosh, look at him floating in space. This was good. Oh, okay. Let me calm down because I could talk. It looks so good. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay. Anyway, so that was August monthly. And that would have opened up to this. It would have been perfect. I can't stand when I do that. So this is um my first week or going into the first week of August. But really, it's just July, y'all. Because August is only one August day in this weekly Anyway, y'all, this was my mom's birthday week. <laughs> She's into the outer space stuff as well. So I used this kit from Ice Cream Joe. Love it. Love, love, love. I pulled in two of the Paper Doll stickers, mainly just because like I had nothing going on on Wednesday. So I had needed to fill up some space and I thought it would be cute to pull in two dolls. I just really love how it looks. I do. It's so pretty. So yeah really good really good i really love how the black pops is it's just really good i love this bath um situation here with the layering i did there that's kind of pretty mm. okay yep that's cute okay so then this was the first week of school they went back to school and I used an old kit from Caress Press and I really just like it. It looks so good. I did this on live and um, the booze came up with putting her in like the hallway and I put and someone told me to put the backpack on the ground making it look like that's her backpack. So cute. Y'all did that. And so I was really scared to use this doll because she has like that really bright red hair but it it went so I have no complaints I pulled in a sticker the first day of school right there not a sticker y'all a photo I used some simply killed it washi and I love this grid washi a lot and here I said that my baby my youngest was officially potty trained we're still like going back and forth but like it's good like when she's awake like she knows to go to the bathroom so that's that was the day that I claimed potty trained. <laughs> and yeah, so it was just a really good week. We had a good week. And I think we probably came home sick after that week. Because after that, it was, um, we've been sick since school started. And then it was Bae's birthday. So cute. 
Okay then girl, yes. So this kit is from Letters to Apollo. Mm -hmm. Really cute, love how I did the little header situation. Decorating that up a little bit. I pulled in some little lemons from Birch and Birdie. Alternating them a little bit just to make it kind of different. I really like how I did those date covers. It's really simple again, just the script font and then the lemon. Good. <laughs> Ooh, I think I saw um, Alexis. It was either Alexis from Reflections of a Bookaholic or Crafty One. The Crafty One doing this. I need to do this more often. Every time I see the box with like the, the bow checklist on it, it does something to me. And I feel like I want to do it all the time. It looks, it just looks good. It's so cute. Okay. So, um, yeah, anything special happened this week? Let me see. We had a meetup. This was Besties, I think, first meetup. We did it at Red Lobster. We had a good time. And, yeah, I don't really see nothing else going on there. <laughs> so, yeah, I just like when I use my planner versus using boxes and just let the white space show through because I just, I think it looks really good. All right. Oh, come through, Mentu. So this kit is from Mentu Studio. Beautiful. 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 Okay. Yeah, this is good. So we just did a little deco up here because that's what y'all be doing. So, you know, she needs to go ahead and jump on that wagon really quick. But I just love how it looks. It's really pretty. Um, we have Tanya's birthday. We got some happy mail. I got a promotion at the job. Let's see. Bestie came and visited. We were celebrating the promotion and the new job for her. Had another planner meetup. Really beautiful. Really pretty spread. I really like that spread. Ooh, okay. So then we have a Miss and Meow kit. And I like this one as well. They kind of, you know, give you like the same like vibe, the florals, the pinks. Really cute. So this one was good. Let's see. Did anything special happen? I finally had got me some, <laughs> some Chinese food from the mall because I hadn't been to the mall in so long. But they had the best... Chinese food to me. So yeah, I marked that. <laughs> um, let's see. I got some grab bags this week from Crafts by Towie and Starlight Paper Studio. That's always a good time. I think I started watching Inuyasha, which I, I need to, that might be what I go back to watching because I haven't, I just finished Game of Thrones again so I kind of need something else to watch. So I think I might try to put, pick up Inuyasha because, yeah, I want to finish that. Okay, so yeah, that was it for this spread. Nothing really much going on, but I think it's pretty. And then we have my birthday monthly. Yes, really pretty. So this is my September monthly, and it was my birthday month. And I just think it looks really cute. I pulled in a doll from Sonia Stegman. Love her stuff. And yeah, I think it's I think it looks good. Also, the deco is from Ice Cream Joe. So that's always nice. I love how I did the little streamers at the top for the celebration. Really cute. All right, and so then we're going into the first week of September. This was the first week that I put my sidebar in the middle versus on the side because I just wanted to be different. And I really like putting it on the side just because it gives you, you don't have to write on your coil. So I do like um, putting a sidebar on the side. I'm going back, switching it up some more. So that's a thing there, but I really loved how this spread turned out. It looks so good. I'm so happy I convinced Jessica to come out with this artwork because I really loved this artwork. And I think the issue was it didn't have a lot of um, elements to the artwork. 
but I feel like she did a great job. It's so good. Love it a lot. I really do love how this spread looks. Did anything special happen this week? Mm, not really. I watched Cinderella though, the one with Camilla Kabbalah, whatever. I watched that and it was really good. I love that movie. And I don't really go out for Cinderella like that, but it was a good Cinderella movie. And yeah, so Advents came out this week. <laughs> so money was gone. Which, yeah, that was really cute. Ooh, okay. So this is my birthday week. I'm not, like, super lit about it. Like, I feel like I like this week better than this week. But I do love this kit. I love this artwork. This artwork is from House of Stickers. I just... She has one more kit in her shop that I need to purchase one day. <laughs> but um, I love when she does the bold look in her kits. Because no one else, I feel, does that. And she does it well. Like, I'm not... I can't complain about this kit. It's just bold and beautiful. It's, that's just what I see when I look at it. So, I really love it. And I kind of like how I did it <laughs> in my planner. I feel like I could have did better. But nonetheless, it's good. This was a birthday extravaganza week it was my sister's birthday my birthday and my niece's birthday we went to the zoo for my niece um and then i went to papa Do's and ruth chris <laughs> i had a good time for my birthday what how old did i turn 33 yeah i think i turned 33 so i guess it was good a good year and to celebrate, I guess, because I had a good time. Okay, so here is Miss and Me Ow. Love this kit. When I first seen this kit, I saw this sticker right here, this full box. And I was like, I'm buying the kit. That's all it took was that one full box, y'all. And I was like, I'm there. So, yeah, I really like how this came out. I think I did this on live, and I was not feeling it. So... In my mind, I was going to plan like Prissy planning and it didn't work out. And so it kind of had threw me off. Like I had to do a lot of changes on live because I was like, I'm not feeling this spread at all. But, you know, you get ideas from people you want to do, do like them. And it just wasn't working that day. So that was that. But I do end up liking how this turns out. And again, my sidebar in the middle really pretty we went to another meetup what else oh, i was sick as hell obviously but yeah so all right and so here we have a kit from jackson pepper love the doll i used don't really care for this little deco right here but I really like how this spread looks. I really like the colors. Um, Jackson Pepper, I don't know how much she's changed her format, but I really don't like her format when uh, with this kit. She doesn't give you a lot to work with, I guess. And so, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, you'd make it work. But um, I do like the, the boxes that I pulled in for the kit. I really like how I was doing my layering there. And yeah, so this one was this one was decent. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Nothing too much going on. I went to the movies. This was probably the first time I've been to the movies since COVID. And we went and saw Shang-Chi. So that was cool. And I got my hair done. The girls got their hair done. I got my nails done. So this might have been, no, I got my nails done for my birthday. So I think the month of September was my first time getting my nails done in like a long time. But yes, yeah, so I got my nails done or refilled, filled in, not refilled, girl, it ain't a drink. But yeah, so really cute there. And I think that's gonna be it. Should I do, I guess I'll show y'all this last kit. No, I'm gonna leave that. 
because this goes into my October spreads. So I'm going to just leave that alone. Okay, so that is it, y'all, for this flip through. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Of course, make sure that you let me know which one was your favorite. I think my favorite is going to be this one here. This is for the week of um, August 30th through September 5th. And I just really, I just really love this kit and spread. It looks good. So you all let me know which one was your favorite. Oh, okay. And also let me know which monthly was your favorite. My favorite monthly got to be the August. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, it's just, it just came out perfect. So yeah, let me know which one was your favorite monthly and let me know which one was your favorite weekly down below in the comments let's talk about it and if you liked this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up by hitting that like button for me and if you want to see more from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you're notified on the next planner video and i will talk to you in the next one